Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to our HH Aviation video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Fly-by-Wire uh, A320neo and why it is better than the standalone A320neo which you see in the FS livery at the moment. So as you can see I'm spawned in on the ground at Nantes at the moment, lovely little airport. And I'm going to be showing you some of the buttons around the cockpit and why the default A320 isn't really, I suppose... Um, good enough for either online ATC or just realism in general. So let's hop into the uh, cockpit over here and let's fire up the aircraft. External power, battery one and two. Now, as you can see, the ADIS are already in op, cruise supply is in op, uh, APU gen. This is in op. A lot of the buttons, as you can start to get the message, are all in op. This arm, the emergency lights, is in op. I was going to say, don't tell me this isn't in op as, as well. It's been a while since I've been in this aircraft, so bear with me while I find everything that's in op. But as you can see, already, this is all lined up. The displays really don't look that good at all and the aircraft generally just looks absolutely terrible you can't do any of the uh, requests and stuff like that and well as you can see from my previous live streams in fly by wire there's a tablet here none of that is here in this aircraft which, don't get me wrong, the tablet's not required or anything like that, but a lot of these buttons are re are quite nice to have, quite uh, finishing touches and stuff like that. And the fact that we don't have that, I don't know. It just, this down here is in op. It just feels a bit naked, so to speak bit bland and it's really not a nice experience so uh, today I'm going to fix that because I've noticed a lot of people have come across in the Microsoft Flight Sim community do not have the A320neo or at least not the fly-by-wire version because I'm pretty sure the A320neo comes in the default version so I'm going to show you how to get that now hello all so as you can see I'm on the fly-by-wire website now they do have a discord and I'll link that in the description below and I will show you how to do that as well. So, first things first I'm going to show you how to do it on the website. I'll put this link in the description. What you do is, is it will bring you up to this home page, like this. You want to click installer because then you'll be able to update it rather than having to download a file every single time. Click installer, it's completely safe, completely reliable. Click download and as you can see it starts to download. Hello all, now if you want to download it from their discord alternatively all you do is is that's completely fine you go down to um, you go down to projects installer and you'll click this up here and again you can see that automatically downloads even one works I'll link both in the description it's personal preference okay now as you can see the fly by wire installer is here it won't say setup bracket 3 or 4 or 5 for you and it will only download one for you it's only because I've done it multiple times for the sake of the video now what you'll do is, is you'll double click this, you don't need to extract it or anything like that. Once you've double clicked it, this will here will pop up and then once this is finished it should take you up to a page like this, perfect. So make sure you have Microsoft Flight Sim closed, as you can see it says please close Microsoft Flight Sim for me. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to quickly close the sim. And I'm going to quickly uh, reload this. Okay, so as you can see, the A320NX is the Fly-by-Wire's A320. It's now officially standalone, so they can build their own custom autopilot and stuff like that and make the flight dynamics a lot more realistic than the default, which is amazing because it means us flight simmers can get a lot more of a realistic experience. So, the current versions are the Stable Development Experimental. If you have a TCA uh, throttle, 
then you're going to want the development and I believe there is ways to get it to work with the experimental but the development's a lot easier and you will have to configure your throttles now you've also got the stable I don't recommend the stable as the custom flight dynamics I don't believe are in there at the moment but you can guarantee that the compatibility works the development I have no problems with it it works completely fine for me so that's what I'm going to use I'm going to click install and as you can see it will start downloading the aircraft into my community folder I don't have to do anything I just have to let this install so I'll be with you once it's installed Okay ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see my fly-by-wire install is pretty much done. As you can see it's just quickly finishing the update. And then to make sure that everything's gone correctly, we should see a massive green light that says installed over here. So we'll just quickly wait for this to finish up and then any second now hopefully we're going to do an imaginary countdown. 3, 2, 1. Oh, close. Well anyways, once this finishes doing its thing. I'll talk to you about the A380X. So as you can see, Fly by Wire have an A380 coming along as well, which would be really good. I'll make sure to have a video on that when it comes out. Actually, right here you go. So development green. As you can see, it's installed, which is perfect. That means everything should have gone correctly. If you want to double check, just go in your community folder, and I'll show you now. What you do is you should quickly go in your community folder, and it should be uh, Fly by Wire Aircraft A320 Neo that's what it should look like if it's everything's gone correctly and if it has perfect close the community folder load up your sim okay ladies and gentlemen now that the sim has loaded what you're going to want to do is go over to world map up to the top left and it's not this uh, A320 anymore uh, if it doesn't pop up go airliners and here you go fly by wire simulations as you can see I already have liveries for it because I use it in pretty much every single one of my streams as you can see, these are all my liveries. They're spawning in my uh, HH Aviation livery. Yeah, so if we go down on the ground at Nantes, finish the video where we started. Oh, Total Aviation's down here. Amazing. Hello there. Put it on daytime just so we can see what we're doing. And quickly spawn in. We will see a major improvement in realism. Um and everything like that it's such a better aircraft what started as just adding IRS alignment has turned into something so much bigger and honestly it's amazing and I'll show you as soon as we get loaded into this sim okay ladies and gentlemen as you can see we've now spawned into Nantes Airport again finished the video where we started it and if we go inside the cockpit now and power up the aircraft. It's the same thing, same process, we've just literally done the same thing. As you can see, these are all able to be moved. Now, if I put them on, you actually have to wait for it to align rather than it just starting up and it being ready to go. And the displays look a whole lot better. All this is now able to be used. If we go up to the top, this is able to be used, this is able to be used, everything is able to be used like it should be in an actual in an actual plane. Every single button that is required or at least majority of the buttons is able to be used which is an amazing amazing job by fly by wire because it just helps out so much and it makes such a nice flight sim experience look we've got a EFB tablet here called the fly pad you got you got loads of things and if I click on the MCD menu as you can see you've got how uh, captains and everything like that would actually weather request ATIS performance weight and balance how they'd actually start to do the setup of planes if I was to put my Simbrief username in here, click look from Simbrief, it would load up my flight. It would load up the information at the two airports. There's so much more to this aircraft that make it so much more better. And honestly, if anyone here flies on ATC services or doesn't and just flies around in the A320neo, I really me recommend this to you. But anyways, guys, this has been it for HH Aviation and this video of how to uh, get fly-by-wire and why it's better than the standalone A320neo. Um, 
Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.